Hello YouTube and welcome to another random review. Hi. Hi, right, uh, the girls are going to be a bit more quiet this time because we got told off, didn't we? Everyone was saying you girls are too noisy. And Were that, we? Well, they, we got told off. So, we're not going to have as much screaming and shouting this time, are we? No. Maybe. No. Okay, so I've got a, um, a new update here. This is actually a new set of scales from VP Creations. So if you remember back... The very first set of scales I got was these titanium ones for the Heine Haynes 4-pin UKPK. And this has got to be probably my most favourite knife or certainly top two favourite knives. This is absolutely fantastic in hand. I love it. Since then, I also bought the um, VP Creations titanium scales for the Spyderco Urban. And again, it's a good knife. I don't like it quite as much as the UKPK. I don't entirely know why, because technically this is a, a good size for everyday carry, but the UK PK just feels better in, in, in my view. Um, after that, I'd also bought some heavier metal scales for the Luna. So this was a, this actually, this wasn't a VP Creations. This was a special edition from Jusea. This is the copper scale Luna. And when I got this, I really enjoyed the additional heft, the extra weight of the knife. It just makes it feel more special. And... I then bought the um, brass version of the Luna and I actually polished this myself. I did a little video like suggesting it was gold. It's not gold, it's just brass. But uh, again, I really like the additional weight. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to modify this drop point version of the Heine Haynes um, Spyderco UK PK. Now, I bought this. I haven't done a review on it yet. I'm really in two minds about it. I don't really enjoy the shape as much as the traditional leaf shape. And I haven't really been using it. So what I thought I'd do is treat it to some new scales and see how I get on with it. And here they are. I ordered them. Um, it, it was. It's taken a couple of months for these to arrive. It's probably the longest time it's taken for scales to arrive. And these are scales from VP Creations. And I've gone for, again, 4-pin UK PK. But I've gone for polished brass. So similar to th this arrived kind of bead blasted and I've polished it myself. So something like this. A bit of bling. It's just a bit of fun. Um, but I like the idea of the extra weight. And in here, I've not opened these yet, but the weight is significant. So polished brass. I've gone for the round over. Um, and I've kept the clip in the standard position. So shall we open it? Do you want to see inside? Let's get this done. Right. If I remember correctly, you just, where do you cut these? Down here. Let's have a look. And here they are. Ooh. So there's the, uh, I think it already comes with these washers, but I'll keep those anyway. And there they are. A few fingerprints on there. Obviously they're, they're handmade. Just double checking they've got the clip on the right side. Yeah, perfect. So they look pretty cool. Nice and smooth. Interestingly, they don't put the... Um, in the previous versions, they've put the little uh, wedge tool thing. What do you call it? Let me see if I can find one. Bear with me. put them yeah you normally get like a little pry bar tool made out of the stuff that's left over so perhaps they've stopped doing those now so let's have a look at one of these scales there we go i reckon i could probably do a little bit more polishing on that if required but they're going to get um they're going to get scratched up in use anyway so i'll probably just leave them like that but yeah they look nice so i'm going to do the same old thing i'm going to get these attached onto my drop point uk pk and I'll show you in a minute. Just bear with me. Cheers. Hi guys, I did decide just to give it a quick polish. I'm using some Auto Glim Metal Polish. Um, I used to be into sports cars and stuff like that before uh, the noisy ones took all my money. So yeah, uh, Metal Polish. I find this really good. Um, I'm using gloves. You don't really need to, but the, when you rub it, it gets this really nasty black grime, um, which does stain your skin a little bit. So I'm just doing that because I'm going out soon. So yeah, a little bit of um, Auto Glim on there. Just rub the scales and we should find it comes up quite nice. So I thought I'd do this rather than uh, wait until it's all put together if I wanted to try and just uh, get the polish on a bit. Let's 
Let's see if that's making effect already. But anyway, I'll keep on with that and uh, you should see the improved polish at the end. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, quick update. So this Hello. is the... Right, you've got to be quiet. Let's get told off. This is the uh, scale as it comes from VP Creations. And I think it's called... Um, poli it's polish. It's the most highly polished one you can get, I think. Um, so you can see, I mean, it's kind of shiny, but you can see quite a lot of marks on there. So this is me after a bit of the auto glim. You can see the difference there. So you can get, it's not perfect, but you can get it much, much shinier. So I'm going to do that on the other scale too. Okay, so this one went together a bit uh, easier than the first one I did. I don't know if you saw the video where I was trying to put the scales on this for the first time, but all the little hints and tips I I did last time really helped me. For example, um, you stick a bit of cello tape on here to keep these pins in whilst you're trying to uh, reassemble everything. It makes it a lot, lot easier. So, here it is. Ba -ba -ba. And it feels really, really nice. A lot heavier than the titanium. And there it is. I'm impressed with that. I'm going to be carrying that for a while. I do like having the extra weight, obviously, um, for your own EDC purposes. Um, you know, you, perhaps lightness is a, a something that you, you're more interested in. But for me, you know, I've, I've got a few UK PKs now. I just wanted something a little bit different. And there it is. It is going to be a, a fingerprint magnet, as you can imagine. But it uh, feels really nice and smooth in the hand. And there it is. So it's the Vapor Puffin, Vapor Puffin Polished Brass Scales um, on the Heine Haynes Drop Point. Spyderco UKPK. And there we go. And just to end the video, something a little bit different, I'm going to uh, play you a quick song on the piano. I've never had any piano training or anything like that, but uh, I've just been messing around with it. I bought the piano for the kids, really, but here we go. Enjoy. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.